Hey there ladies and gentlemen, today I am bringing you my first RU battle of Generation 6. I'm actually using the exact same team that I used in Generation 5 for RU. Uh, I didn't actually think that it would work well, but I put, made it on Pokemon Showdown, and I swear to god it is the best team I have um, in any tier. I, my win ratio is insane. Uh, the only times I've ever lost, once I was half asleep and made a bunch of really dumb mistakes, and the other time... Um, the I closed out of the browser tab while I was looking for a battle, and it turns out that after I closed the browser tab, it found me a battle and I automatically forfeited. So anyway, my opponent is uh, Raichu0123, who I've battled a few times in the past. Uh, leads off with, uh, he led, led off with, um, whatchamacallit, Clowitzer, who obviously didn't want to stay in. Went out into uh, his Reuniclus, who has a Citrus Berry, and I'm like, does that thing get recycled? Because otherwise, I don't see that item being a good idea. Uh, so I send out Hatterack, uh, betting that it doesn't have Focus Blast, but even if it does, I can take one because it's sturdy. And so I set up my rocks as he goes out into Azelf. Um, Azelf also I could have Fire Blast, but it turns out this one doesn't, most likely. So now Blue Scarab, his Cloudster is back out, and I do have to fear a little bit from that. I go ahead and go for the Gyro Ball, it's resisted, and Cloudster isn't very fast, so that doesn't really do anything. Uh, and I'm going to have to switch out, and I realize I don't actually have particularly safe switch-ins to this guy. Uh, Tuesday is you know, a physical wall, not a special wall, so it's really not that great of a wall. Um, but I sent it out anyway. Uh, it basically depends on what its its four moves are. If it doesn't carry an Ice-type move, then I'm safe going into Among Us. Otherwise, um, oftentimes, what, I guess a Dino might be an okay switch-in? No, not, it wouldn't because of Aurasphere. Yeah, Aurasphere kind of screws me over, but anyway, it doesn't matter because it's slow and I can always revenge kill it with my Rotom, um, Rotom C. So anyway, back out into Hadrak doing a bunch of switching. Uh, it goes for the Psychic. Uh, and that, so uh, I was kind of thinking he might have this. Like, it gets a critical hit. So uh, I will. I'll do a little spoiler. Uh, the hacks in this battle was insane against me. Um, there are several uh, really hacksy moments. That was the first one. Just a bunch of crits, and I think there were some para hacks. Uh, but it just, uh, you know, I'm just going to talk about that when it comes to it. So I go ahead and go for the earthquake on the switch. I didn't think he'd stay in. Uh, and so I almost take out, but don't quite take out Clowitzer. I'm not sure if that was min damage. That would have been a nice additional bit of hacks. I'll put up in the annotations whether that was min damage, although it's hard to tell based on, um, I don't know what set he's running particularly. So I go out now into George III. George III doesn't really want to take a Dark Pulse, but I'm thinking that he's got, this guy's probably locked in. Turns out he's not locked in. This is not a choice to Clowitzer. Um, but I can just take it out with a Scald. Thank God he didn't get the flinch. The flinch would have been really bad right there. So yeah, take it out, and uh, I've gotten the first KO of the match. And only four minutes in, oh, eight minutes in, because this is, I'm running this at, uh, never mind. It's four minutes in. Um, anyway, sorry. Switching out here against Reuniclus because I want some regenerator health back. Uh, weird, by the way, that he takes entry hazard damage. I asked him about that, he said, yeah, when I made... That particular Pokemon, I didn't really care about abilities, and I'm like, well, first of all, you can switch it with an ability, uh, um, with the ability uh, change item. Uh, so that's the first thing. The second of all, I could just give, you know, I offered him a free Reuniclus that has um, Magic Guard. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, it, and it's it's not Regenerator either, as you'll see later. So uh, so his, he sends out uh, Del, Del, Del Fox, and it has the Lumberry, so just kind of a waste of turn with that. Uh, toxic, but it means that it's not running like Life Orb or anything that makes that considerably less threatening. Goes out now, um, I go ahead and go for the Wish as he switches, and uh, I'm thinking here, this is I should probably send him to Steelix, because unless he carries Wake Up Slap, he doesn't have any moves that are super effective. So, uh, Hyderac should be a good switch out, and should be able to wall him for days. Goes for the Tail Slap, uh, those Tail Slaps are doing El Zilcho. And I'm kind of hoping that they'll do so much, so little damage that I'll be back up to full after the wish. And indeed, that's the case. So that is fantastic. He switches out here, goes back out into his Reuniclus, and it is time for this thing to die. Um, I actually did one for the Gyro Ball, thinking that Azelf might come out, uh, and so he's, his Xavier's not gonna die. Uh, he goes ahead and goes for the Psy Shock here. Uh, doesn't even gonna do much. I actually go for the Roar just in case he wanted to switch again. Um, and actually it worked out really well for me because he sends out his Jolteon, so that's a lot of hazard damage that I'm going to be racking up. 
So, uh, Jolteon, I've got nothing to fear from. Uh, you know, HP Fire is pretty rare. HP Ground, I guess, is another move that they sometimes carry, but uh, I'm not really fearing anything like that. Uh, and uh, he decides to send out um, Swiffer, I guess, as Death Fodder, and I do go ahead and take it out. So that is a dead Shinchino, and uh, I am now up 6-4. Uh, so that is, uh, that's great. Out now is going to be Delphox again, and uh, I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to switch out because I don't want to take the Flamethrower. I'm not quite at uh, full health, so I'm not quite at sturdy. I go ahead and send out George III. Uh, sometimes they do run Grass Knot, but Grass Knot, as I recall, does not do too much to George III. Um, because, first of all, it's a special wall. Second of all, I don't think Slowking is that light. Oh, so he has the Shadow Ball. And that actually does a decent chunk. But uh, it's not enough to KO by far, so I can just take it out with a Scald, and that is a dead Delphox. Um, so now he's got three Pokemon left, and I'm thinking, actually all three of them are apparently walled by Steelix. So this is good game. Um, Xavier actually died to uh, Entry Hazards, and so that's one dead. And now Azelf is going to come out. Azelf apparently can't do anything to my Steelix, and I'm banking on that pretty heavily because I'm going to switch right back. Uh, actually, no, I switch out into Audino here. Um, because I'm going to try to get the uh, Toxic Kill. Uh, I'm going to try to do some Toxic Stalling to kill it. Um, may maybe gets paralyzed. I think that's like, what, 20%? Or I think it's 10% chance of paralysis. And like that's okay. You know, that Psychic's really not doing very much. But he gets the special defense drop, and I get fully paralyzed. And like, seriously? That's kind of insanely hacksy. Uh, I decide to switch out. Uh, rather than uh, rather than die next turn. I'm not sure that I would have died, but I would have died if he'd gotten the crit. So it goes for a Psychic. Uh, not very effective against Hadarak, and Hadarak walls him, and I figure I can just go for the Gyro Ball, possibly get the kill, likely get the kill, because his elf is pretty frail and very fast. So go for the Gyro Ball. Um, by the way, doesn't Steelix look incredible in Gen 6? I mean, I just, I've never seen it before in Gen 6. And it's, it, it took my breath away. I'm like, wow. This is cool. My opponent's last is Jolteon. Jolteon can't do jack to me, and this is good game 100%. So, great game, Raichu 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, if you, uh, we actually had another battle right after this. He was like, after the battle, he was like, hey, so how about OU? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's do OU. So, you will see that battle in uh, the next time I upload. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and check it out uh, next time I upload.